Christmas time is upon us, and with that comes decorations, mistletoe, eggnog, and of course, our favorite jolly old man, Santa Claus. This icon of Christmas historically visits all of the good children of the world that celebrate Christmas and gives them presents. While we know without a doubt that Santa does that, evidenced by the presents from him under our tree or in our stocking, just how does he do it? One man and a herd of flying reindeer must have their work cut out for them to make that trek across the world in just one night. But let's take a look at the numbers. First, we need to figure out how many children and homes Santa needs to visit. Let's go ahead and assume that he only visits the kids that are just that kids, so only humans under the age of 18, of which there are about 2 billion in the world. We can also probably assume that Santa only visits kids who celebrate Christmas, otherwise believe in him, which comes out to about 15% of all children in the world. That brings our number of kids Santa needs to visit to about 375 million. But that's only the number of kids, we need to know the number of houses. If we refer to census data, we can figure out that the average family size in the world is 3.5 children per household, meaning that Santa only needs to visit 110 million homes. For the sake of simple math, let's assume that while there will be bad and good children, each home will have at least one good kid, necessitating Santa's visit. Visiting that many homes in just one night seems like quite the feat, and it is just that. But Santa has more time than just while you're sleeping. If he travels from east to west, he can take advantage of different time zones, giving him about 24 hours of nighttime to deliver presents. That ultimately breaks down to 1 1250th of a second per household. In that time, Santa needs to land, dismount, get into the house, fill the stockings, eat the cookies and milk, climb back up, and fly away. Needless to say, it looks like time is working against him. In order to keep the math simple, we'll also assume that each house is evenly spaced across the world, meaning that Santa has to travel an average of 0.75 miles per stop. Ultimately, his sleigh odometer would read about 82 million miles at the end of the evening. But how fast does he need to travel to do that? 650 miles per second. For reference, that's 21,000 times faster than the top speed of a Toyota Prius. With that speed calculated, it's safe to assume that Santa's reindeer are packing a little extra power under their hides. When we start to consider the weight and size of the sleigh, things get even more insane. Or should we say magical? The average weight of a present can be assumed to be around 2 pounds. Some kids may just want a stuffed animal weighing in at half a pound, and others may want an Xbox weighing in at 6 pounds. That brings the weight of the sleigh up to 321.4 thousand tons. The average reindeer can pull about 300 pounds on land, but let's assume Santa has found the buffest reindeer in the world who can pull 10 times that, or 3,000 pounds, while flying. In order to pull his sleigh, he would need 214.2 thousand reindeer. At this point, I'm starting to think that the true innovation Santa has made is a genetic one, engineering the perfect reindeer capable of flying at breakneck speeds, as he only ever seems to need about 12, but that's a topic for another time. In the end, we have about 350,000 tons traveling at 650 miles per second. That means that the lead reindeer in this flying entourage will absorb 14 quintillion joules of energy per second. Your average microwave oven puts off about 100 joules per second, so these reindeer would be roasted. Well, at least without Santa's custom-designed heat shield that he always travels with on the front of his reindeer, as we all know. If he didn't have that, all of the reindeer would be vaporized in about 4.3 thousandths of a second. Good thing he has that heat shield. To cap all of this interesting math and physics out, the acceleration necessary to travel at the speeds Santa is traveling over and over would mean that each time he took off, he would experience 17.5 thousand Gs. So summarizing, each Christmas, Santa delivers 375 million presents to 110 million houses traveling at a speed of 650 miles per second, enduring 17.5 thousand times the force of gravity. 
Let's all take a moment to recognize how incredible Santa's engineering prowess must be to have created reindeer and a sleigh that can do all of that. This truly is a magical time of year. Merry Christmas and a happy holidays from Concerning Reality.